All right, we are ready for week eight in the GCE GL uh, got a couple games played three of the games already in week eight and the final two I'm going to play on uh, on camera and these both these games have serious playoff implications first up Montrose five and two take on Flint who are also five and two Montrose leads the North Division whereas Flint is in third or second in the uh, South Division. A loss and a grand blank win could not Flint out. So they need this game. Uh, Montrose uh, also uh, is just ahead of Otisville who's playing grand blank. So the winner of these games are the ones that are going to make the uh, make how the playoffs are going to come out here. Um, who's going to be in? Who's going to be out? So here we go. Flint is the home team. They will get first roll. And the good thing for Flint, they do have that power factor of six which is two more than Montrose, so they'll get one and two on the yellow die, and they'll get an extra roll. So Flint starts with the ball first. And it's a three versus a two, pass versus run, and it's a four. Pass versus run four. Pass level of the diamond linebacker. Tommy Foster, he's a zero. Greater than the star offensive lineman. No, he's not. Roll one D, or it's complete for a one point game to the dot receiver. And that's going to be Corin Turner out of the backfield. We'll make the catch and pick up one zone. Brings up second down. Uh, they rolled a two, so they'll get an extra roll on this if they want, which with the one, I'm sure they do want. Two versus five, run versus X. And they're going to roll for the extra, hope for something much higher. So they get a 10, they'll take that. So run X 10. Run level of the offensive line. Their run level is a five. Greater than the D line, their Montrose is a three. So it is, it's gonna be a gain of four, a huge opening, and Corin Turner busts through and picks up four zones. So Core and Turner off to a good start here for the Flint Six Shooters. Third down. Six versus five. It's going to be X versus X. And the roll is a four. X versus X four. X level of the diamond defensive backs. He's a two. Tory Jackson, greater than the dot receiver, who's a one. Yes, it is. It's still going to be complete. One point game, but then a fumble. Fumble. Turner makes the catch, but he fumbles a football. Who recovers it? Two. Offense recovers no advance. So luckily, Corin Turner falls on it. And that's where Flint's series will end. And they'll finish with six points in that drive. They'll take it. 
And here comes Montrose. First down for Montrose. Two versus one. Run versus run. And the roll is a two. Run versus run two. Run level of the diamond defense or star defensive lineman. He's a two greater than the star offensive lineman. Cody Cook's a one, so he is. Roll one d six. One to two is a loss of one and a fumble. No six, no gain. Stuffed at the line by Alvin Thomas. Tyler White didn't have any room to run. Alvin Thomas gets the stop. And they're going to get zero this series. Back over to Flint. So good defense from the six shooters. And they're back on offense. Two versus six, run versus X. And the roll is a five, but they get the one, so they get an extra roll. Looking for something higher than a five. They get a nine, they'll take the nine instead. So run versus X, nine. Run level of the star runner. He's a one, greater than the diamond defensive back. He's a zero. So it is, he gains four, lower, lowers his shoulder, and picks up steam. Picks up four. Nice run from Corin Turner. He's off to a really good start. Brings up second down. Oh, we got an event play here. Four, no gain, random defender. But the player is down. So let's see who gets the stop. Uh, five is going to be the star defensive back, Pax Reed. Gets the stop, and now let's see if he's hurt. One to three, he's going to be injured. Whoop, wrong dice. One to three. It's a four. He's stunned. So the visitor's star defensive back is stunned. Pax Reed. So that's going to give the ball back to Montrose. They needed that stop, but four points for Flint makes it ten to nothing. Two versus two, run versus run, and it's an eleven. Run level of the star runner Kyler White is a three. Greater than the star linebacker, he is much better. Gain of four, sweet move in the open field. Nice play by Kyler White. He picks up four. Second down. And we got an event chart. Nine. Offense gain equal to best skill of either the star wide receiver or the star runner. It's going to be Kyler White picking up three. But random offensive player is down. So now, who's hurt on the offense for Montrose? Is there the militia are dropping like flies. Ten. 
It's going to be the star offensive lineman, Cody Cook. Cody Cook. Cody Cook is... Well, let's see what he is here now. One to three, he's going to be injured. He is. He's injured. He's out for the game. Cody Cook. Injured. Replaced. By. So that. They don't have many good offensive linemen. That militia offensive line is pretty porous. Uh, that's going to hurt them immensely if going forward. Third down. Third down for Montrose. Five versus six. X versus X. Eight. Eight unit X level of the defensive line. Four. Greater than the O line, it is. One D six. A one is going to be a sack. Two to six is a complete pass for one point. It's going to be a one point gain. So a pressure got to him. Caleb Green had to get rid of it quickly, and he found Bailey Hill for a gain of one. That's where they're going to stall right there, but they pick up eight points. It's now 10 to 8. Montrose keeping it close. Back over to Flint. Takes over on offense, six versus two, X versus run, and it's a two, so they get another roll. They've already got an 11. The only way they won't take that is if they roll a 12 here. They won't. It'll take 11. So X versus run, 11. X level quarterback, DJ Tyler, is a two greater than the stock linebacker. Oh, no, he's not. Kurt Fisher's a three. But he still finds Gil Edgar for a three-zone gain. He was looking for Bryce. Three points to Edgar. Second down. Another roll. They can roll a one. So it's four versus three. Pass versus pass. And they're going to air it out here, I think. Deep pass versus pass. They've already got a six. Let's see if they can roll something higher here. Nope. They're going to keep the six. So deep pass... Versus pass, six, incomplete. Just out of the reach, Pax Reed. That doesn't count towards his thing. He wasn't, uh, he stunned. Uh, but that doesn't count towards his, um, where he'll still be stunned. They didn't ask, like, if he was, they didn't ask about his um, traits. So, incomplete. Might have been a bad decision to air it out there. Max Reed gets to another stop for Montrose.
three points for Flint. And it's now 13 to 8. And I think next the next season I play, I will put these on paper, not uh, cardstock. Because they're so hard to... I almost want to just cut them in half. They don't fold all that well. And there's kind of a glare. But it's done... Done the job though. All right, first down for Montrose, and we're gonna get an event chart six flag on the minor penalty on a team with a lesser power factor. That is gonna be Montrose. So a minor penalty. And that'll give a predominant position in the zero zone. So. If we get a no gain, it has a chance of being a safety. Uh, second down, or no, it's still first down. Ooh, this could be good. One versus two, run versus run. And they have a good runner in Kyler White. If he gets a hold of that ball, it's a tw 12. Run versus run, 12. Perfect execution. Potential pick gain based on star runner. He is a run level 3. Gain of 1d6 plus 4. 5 plus 4, 9. That's going to be down to the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big gain from Kyler White. Broke free from the grasp of Gary Barnes, and he was off to the races. Finally brought down by Prescott Hall. But not before he gained nine zones and puts Montrose for now in the lead. Second down. Five versus five. X versus X. Four is the roll. X versus X. Four. X level of the diamond defensive back. That's Prescott Hall. He's a zero. Greater than the dot receiver. No, Kyler White's a three. Complete. One to five will be a one-point gain. Six will be a two-point gain. It's going to be a one-point gain to Kyler White. And that's a touchdown. Kyler White fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Montrose. Huge, huge score. That's going to put Montrose in the lead 22 to 13. Flint has got to get to work here after that score. First down, five versus three. X versus pass. Eleven. X versus pass. Eleven. Combined X level of the diamond run or dot runner, Gil Edgar. He's a zero. And star runner. He's a one. Greater than three? No. It's going to be a gain of two by Corin Turner. Nice play by the defense to trap him in and bring him down quickly before he got loose. Second down. Oh, this is not going to be good for Flint, I don't think. Three. Of course, it is pass versus run. 
the roll is a one. Pass versus run one. Diamond defensive back. Pass level. Two or three it is. One to three is going to be an interception. It's picked off. One zone downfield. Corey Jackson picks it off. Let's see what he does with it. The return, three, no return. So they get the stop, but Flint will still get three points. 22-16, Montrose by six. And they take over on offense. One versus two, run versus run, and a roll of two. Run level of the diamond defensive lineman, or star defensive lineman. Uh, he has a two greater than the star offensive lineman. Cody Cook is injured, so his replacement's a zero, so he is. Roll 1d6, 1 to 2, is a loss of 1 and a fumble. 3 through 6 is a no gain. It'll be no gain. Kyler White stopped at the line. Alvin Thomas with another stop. He's having himself a good game. I just need that offense to get going. And Flint takes back over. Nothing for Montrose that series. First down, three versus one. Pass versus run. And a five. Pass versus run five. Quarterback pass level. Is it three? No. He is a one. Roll 1d6. One to two is no gain. Receiver slips. Or three to six is complete for one point gain. Oh, no gain. Nice play. Darrell Bryce made his first grab, but he slips on the turf. And uh, Kurt Fisher drops him right there. So another missed opportunity for Flint. Here comes the militia up by six. Trying to add to their lead here. Four versus six. Pass versus X. And it's a four. Pass versus X, four. Pass level of the quarterback. Caleb Green's a two. Greater than the dot. Defensive old lineman. He is. He's just a one. Tuck and run. Gain a one. So Caleb Green will pick up a zone. He had nobody open. Brings up second down. 
three versus one, pass versus run again. Uh, two is the roll, but whoops, it was a two. It's a two, so Flint gets another roll, but they've already got a two, and they rolled another two. Pass versus run two. Pass level of the diamond defensive lineman. He's a two greater than the diamond offensive. I mean, he is. It's a sack. One point loss. Nice play by Emmanuel to bring him down. That's drops them for a loss, so it's a zero. Man, Montrose is just trying to give this game to Flint. They just can't seem to pull ahead. Let's see if Flint can do something on offense. Montrose missing their uh, star offensive lineman, and their star defensive back was shooken up earlier and he doesn't seem himself out there. They need to take advantage of this, Flint does. Here we go, first down, getting close to crunch time. Five versus three, X versus pass. And Flint's in a good spot here, it's a seven. But they rolled a one, so they get another roll. Looking for a 12, looking for a 12. We'll get an 11, we'll take it. 11. X versus pass 11. Combined X level of the diet. Oh, I already had this one earlier. Dot runner. That is Gil Edgar. He's a zero. Corin Turner is just a one. So they're not greater than three. It'll be just a gain of two from Corin Turner. But. Two is better than none. Both teams run games, having a good day. Second down. Two versus three. Run versus pass. And the rule is a seven. Run versus pass, seven. Run level of the diamond runner. That is Darrell Bryce, greater than the diamond linebacker. They're both the same, so it's not. It's going to be a gain of three. Whoops, gain of one, I'm sorry. Tommy Foster keeps them right near the line. So gain of one. Darrell Bryce has been pretty absent here today, and that's that's what's hurting Flint today. They're not getting that production. Now they have third down. They need a play to be made here. They get an extra roll, so that helps. Run versus run. Four is the initial roll. Flint wants something higher than that. Let's see what they can get. Seven. Let's see what they get out of that. Run versus run, seven. Home team. Flint is the home team. It's just going to be a one-point gain on a Christian draw play to Corin Turner. Warren Turner picks up one, but that's it. And we're going to head to crunch time. Flint picks up four points, but that makes the score 
22 to 20. Flint now needs to play some defense. Montrose looking to put this game away. They just need a couple big plays as they go to ball control offense. Hoping to run out the clock. Here we go. Oh, Flint gets a roll, but they're not going to need it. It's a one. Six versus five. X versus X, one. X versus X, one. Diamond, or star defensive lineman. X level. Oh, he's a zero. Still, 1D6. 1 to 3 is a sack. 4 to 6 will be a one point gain. 1 to 3. Oh, they pick up one. Diamond receiver. Bailey Hill makes a clutch grab. Brings up second out. Oh, that was going to. So this could do it right here. If they can just get one play. Now I get stopped here. The game's over. Six versus five again. And again, it's a one. It's the same play, I believe. X, X, one. Yep. Diamond. X level, it's going to be the same exact play. One to three is a sack, though. Still got another shot. Auburn Thomas comes around the edge. Bearing down on Caleb Green. No! Caleb Green finds Bailey Hill again. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it. The game is over. Two points. For Montrose and the game ends 24 to 20. A huge game for Montrose. Go into Flint and take out and probably ending, possibly ending Flint's playoff chances. Maybe if Green uh, Grand Blank wins, it'll be close. That drops them to five and three on the season. They finish the season five and three. Grand Blanks four and three, so they need an impressive win. The tiebreaker is points scored, and Grand Blanks' offense is going to be pretty close to what Flint is, I believe. What a game this was! One of the few games that's live on camera that actually was exciting. Let's see what the stats. Neither team passed the ball very well. Uh, Darrell Bryce did not have any, one of the top receivers in the league, and he had nothing. Gil Edward, 31 yards. Turner, 30 yards. So 61 yards passing from DJ Tyler. Running the ball, though, Turner had 8, 10, 11, 12, 127 yards rushing. Bryce added 15 yards. So a total of 203 yards offense for Flint. Montrose defense has been pretty stout at times. Bailey Hill had 32 yards receiving. Kyler White had just he had 20 yards and a touchdown. 52 total yard uh, passing yards for Caleb Green and Kyler White. 166 yards rushing and Caleb Green had 20 yards 
186 total yards or rushing yards. So there you have it. Star of the game, Kyler White with 166 yards rushing. He was the catalyst and a pretty stout Montrose defense. They hold on and beat the Flint Six Shooters 24 to 20. That's it from here. Thanks for watching.